The effect of noise pollution on birds was particularly visible at Marseille Airport. During lockdown, pink flamingos rushed to the salt pools that are alongside the runways. There were 40,000 paddling in the salty water, whereas in normal times, there are only 15,000. In India, flamingos swarmed at the feet of the buildings where the inhabitants were locked down. In the USA, they invaded the industrial zones fixed in lugubrious silence. It seems that the silence had, for some species, unexpected consequences. In the salt pools of Marseille, the number of births was multiplied by 10. 16,000 chicks were counted, a figure only seen three times in 30 years. But why so many births? In species that nest on French beaches, like the plover, births increased by 40%. The spectacular rise is probably due to the fact that the hatchings weren't disturbed by walkers and their dogs. Everywhere on the planet, a rage to copulate took over wild animals, which were a lot less stressed. This fever even hit zoos, closed and without public. And so, in the zoological garden of Hong Kong, a couple of pandas that hadn't shown the slightest affection for each other for 10 years, coupled for the first time. In a nature free from human noises, the growth of amphibians can be perceived from further off by their fellows and helps reproduction. Male green frogs and tree frogs have particularly powerful voices. At the time of reproduction, the males croak with all their force to attract females by swelling their vocal sacs, which amplifies their songs. Thierry Langagne, specialist in noise and light pollution at the CNRS, has found a second criteria as important as the first. Here we have a green male tree frog. You can see very clearly the color of his vocal sac here, which is orange, and this is a very important criteria for the females when they choose a partner, because they don't couple by chance on the pond, they couple with males of better quality. Tree frogs usually live in trees where they hunt insects. They only go to the ponds to reproduce. The vocalizations of the males then mix in a great polyphonic chorus of amphibians who sing at night until the morning. The males call ceaselessly. The females are sensitive to their voices and go closer to the voice which seems the most seductive to them. Then the color of the vocal sac, which they can distinguish in the shadows, confirms the correct choice of partner. Thierry captures tree frogs alive in isolated places with no noise pollution. Returning to his CNRS laboratory at Lyon, 
Jerry makes up two groups of male tree frogs. The first is submitted to the usual sound of a pond in nature. The second group is exposed to the same noise, to which is added the noise of road traffic at 75 decibels, as if the pond was beside a fairly busy highway. Here we have a male with a very clear sack because he's had noise pollution for 10 days, while this one has a sack with much more orange because he was in the control group that didn't. This means that the females on the basis of the color of the vocal sack can no longer detect which are the super males with which they should couple, and so we expect a quite rapid deterioration in genetic quality, which could lead to a collapse of populations in time. The group which suffered from noise pollution show a stress 57% higher than that of the control group. Jerry is convinced that the negative impact of noise doesn't just concern batracians, sperm whales and birds. And so for man, as for the tree frogs, exposure to a high level of noise pollution means a strong increase in stress, which will have effects on cardiovascular illness, sleep quality, and cognitive capacity. Therefore, these effects can be very worrying for humans in a time when the world becomes more and more noisy. When we see the negative effects of noise on animals, it seems urgent to worry about the effect on humans. The struggle against noise pollution has only just begun. The noise of cars on roads is being reduced by new surfaces. Anti-sound walls are more often installed to reduce noise by half. Designed obviously for us, animals also benefit. A system of a bubble curtain has been developed which limits the propagation of sound waves in water. In Brittany, these bubble curtains have been put in place to protect the sites of Saint-Jacques shellfish exposed to the noise of underwater works. This same system has been deployed on Reunion Island during the gigantic work of the construction of the coast road. These curtains reduce noise pollution by 25 decibels. The vibrations of propellers in boats is being reduced. More aerodynamic hulls are being constructed which leave less of a wake. And finally, the decline of internal combustion engines has truly begun. The return of wild animals during the period of the pandemic allowed us to glimpse a world stripped of the noise pollution, which gets on our nerves. The extraordinary distribution of these videos on social networks shows our fascination for the wild and our vital need to renew our ties with nature and silence. <laughs>